As you can see, this is not a regular Porsche 718. No, it's a Boxster Spider. I'm gonna show you how you put the roof down. So first you have to tell it that you want to put the roof down by using the little button. You walk around to the rear. In fact, before you do that, you have to find the little button and unclip the buttresses, if you will, and snap them in place. There are obviously two of them. So you have to do that twice. You have to look with your thumbs for the little button, unclips, fold, and clip. And you lift the trunk lid nice and gentle. Hold it up. Walk back around. This can be done one person, as you can see. And then you gently fold back and guide the roof itself down. Make sure it's nice and flat. Hello. We're good. And then down she goes. I always use two hands just to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. And that's it. Final step, fold those back on both sides, and then you're good to go. Now that the roof is down, we can properly admire what is undoubtedly one of the most attractive, if not the most attractive drop top convertible car you can buy on the market today in the world. Now, the base 2020 Porsche 718 Boxster starts at $66,800 in Canada, $62,000 in the US. It looks almost exactly like this. I've driven that car and it is quite amusing with the flat four two liter turbo. Um, but uh, the Spider is on a different plane as far as power is concerned. Uh, base price for the car in Canada is $110,500 in the US. It's $97,300. Now, my car, as it sits right here, is not obviously without options. Um, one of them is, I, it might be one of the most regal looking blues you can buy. That is Gentian Blue. You will have seen that color on the new 992 911. Um, it works wonderfully well on the 7 to 18 Spider. So that's one option. The interior is leather and Alcantara. With the top down, I can actually show it to you now. Oh, it's got LED dynamic lighting in here. See, look, there's your mix leather Alcantara. Is that not beautiful? Uh, it's got the adaptive sports seats, which you actually just got to see right now. I mean, there isn't really that usual tour that I would do. It can be done with the Boxster. It also has navigation system anyways. Uh, all said and done, just shy of $130,000. Now, what do you need to know about a Boxster Spider that you probably already know? Well, it's got a trunk where I showed you the roof goes. Uh, but when you do open it up behind the engine, because that's where the engine is, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a few moments, uh, that's 120 liters of very usable, very accessible uh, boot space. Now, I know I said I use both hands, but now one hand is holding the camera, so I did that as cleanly as I could. And then you have the front. Yes, the front, which reveals 150 liters of boot space. Now, no, that's not mine. But this gives you an idea. Uh, say you're moving a friend and you really want to take your time. You can take one of these 80 some odd liter bins, fill it up, and be a very good neighbor with your Porsche boxer. You see, you don't need a pickup truck to help move your friends. Uh, but I know that was kind of silly. How pretty is that? Oh, I'm ruining that shot. I'm sorry. There you go. That is very pretty. And to close it, always remember, just push on the logo. Don't push on the bodywork. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of other things to say about this car. But uh, obviously, the drive portion is what really matters. Um, so just before I get in, just going to show you, or I drive off, I should say, I'm going to show you. There's a Alcantara steering wheel. You always, as usual, put this, uh, the key on the left. Um, I'm going to start it up. I think you'll be able to hear this. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that's the uh, four liter naturally aspirated, aspirated flat six at work. It's your standard screen, very intuitive, works well. Uh, the shifter, 
it's it's lovely uh, <laughs> HVAC your main menus um, you might notice there's a sport exhaust there's your spoiler danger 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 oh yes go fast and no 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 but there are no sport buttons in fact there are no buttons on the steering wheel at all I've already said way too much uh, let's take this for a spin <clears throat> Yes, the smile on my face pretty much confirms what everyone knows about the Porsche 718 Boxster Spider, and that is that it is uh, a difficult to match, supremely competent driver's car. Uh, part of that is without a doubt what makes this car looks looks so good just sitting still and that's the standard uh, Porsche Active Suspension Suspension Management System the PASM which drops the car by all of 30 millimeters essentially the Boxster Spider is slammed with the adjustable dampers obviously it also means that this thing handles it stays flat it's so responsive and even when you give it a little bit more power as you roll around a, a nice long curve like that, it just sits, sits, it just grips and grips. Um, but without a doubt, the gem, the, the, the icing on the cake of this car is its naturally aspirated 4 liter flat 6. That in a way reminds us all how much we love Porsche flat six engines. Um, 414 horsepower at 7,600 horsepower. Uh, sorry, RPM. Lots of horsepower. That's only 400 RPM from the red line. 309 pound feet of torque from 5,000 to 6,800 RPM. So, what that means is, and right now I'm in sixth gear, fifth, fourth. Oh, what the hell, third, a 4,000 RPM, and it just starts going faster. More power, more build, more drama. Oh, and it will pull and pull. This is kind of strange, but it has a red line. But if it didn't have a red line, maybe it would just forever pull. It feels that way. The speed piles on, piles on so seamlessly. And just even in third or fourth gear, as you merge onto the highway, you roll onto the throttle gently. And before you know it, you're doing a hell of a lot more than your posted speed limits. Uh, the manual transmission just slots into gear. There is, as I showed you, an auto blip mode, which is a no-no. Uh, so you can work your own heel toe and throttle blips yourself, right? Uh, but it just, it just, it's so mechanical, it's notchy, but it's short. The weight behind each shift, up and down, perfectly judged. Clutch pedal, again, just same thing. Weight, travel, everything is done like Porsche knows how to do everything so freaking well. Um, steering is, is sublime. The electromechanical setup, it's very quick, but it's not no jagged edges to it not loaded just just at the, you can never feel it loading up even from the immediate on center just a quarter of a degree of input and the wheel follows and the front end follows it's it's just extraordinary it is after all a true driver's car and I think I, I've been lucky enough to drive a 987 Boxster Spider and a 98, uh, 981 Boxster Spider and that same feeling, that same sense of control, involvement, overall driver satisfaction just permeates through the whole experience, always, all of them. Even though this is the most powerful one yet, and likely a little bit heavier than the other ones, this thing is 1,470 kilos or something like that. Yeah, that's 
It's not light, but it's not heavy either. So the power to weight ratio obviously is good, which means that yes, um, 4.4 seconds is the, all you'll need to get up to 100 kilometers an hour. 4.2 seconds, zero to 60 miles an hour, but it feels so much faster than that. And at the same time, it's so much, it's so much more civilized than than you believe and you think. Oh, and the noise, the noise, the noise, the noise. I mean, I I love the flat fours. Uh, in the 718s, I'm also a fan of the flat sixes and the 911s, but. This one is kind of a, it's like that sweet cherry on top of that sundae. That everything else is so good, but then you get that, that flat six driving, you know, that extra pleasure, a little extra dose of flavor. This is, as we all expected, like I said early on, an exemplary, high performance, easy to drive, Supercar, almost supercar. It's fantastic. 